First, here at noon, Muskogee Nation Attorney General Jerry Wisner is holding a news conference to address a dispute this week that arose between Lighthouse Police and staff at the Okmulgee County Jail. Now this comes after jail staff reportedly refused to allow Lighthouse officers to serve a warrant at the jail. Let's go to AG Wisner now. Assault tribal justice officers. Based on this authority, the Muskogee Creek Nation has issued an arrest warrant for Matthew J. Douglas, an Okmulgee County Jail official for the charge of protected status battery of Light Horse Police Deputy Chief Dennis Northcross. The incident took place at the Okmulgee County Jail on Monday, December 18, as Light Horse Police officers acting under the Cross Deputization Commission of the Grand River Dam Authority attempted to deliver a suspect arrested for fentanyl possession and driving recklessly in a school zone. On Monday, December 18, a light horse police officer witnessed a driver moving on the wrong side of the road in a school zone. The officer effected a traffic stop and requested Okmulgee Police Department to attend the incident. Okmulgee Police Department informed him of their refusal to respond. The officer noticed drug paraphernalia in the passenger seat and the suspect consented to a vehicle search. During a search of the suspect's person, the officer witnessed a rubber case fall from the suspect's waistband, which he then admitted to the officer contained fentanyl. Acting under the authority of a cross deputization commission with the Grand River Dam Authority, the officer effected an arrest as required by state law. He transported the suspect to the Okmulgee County Jail for booking and processing. Today, we are releasing body cam video captured by Light Horse officers in the jail facility. In it, you can clearly see jail officials belligerently refuse to accept a duly arrested suspect, threaten to fabricate charges against Light Horse officers, and of course, the unprovoked assault on Deputy Chief North Cross. The video shows Matthew J. Douglas, a jail official, telling Light Horse Police Deputy Chief Dennis North Cross that it is the jail's policy to not accept any suspects from Light Horse Police. Later, you can hear jail staff say that they did not recognize Light Horse as real police. Light Horse officers informed Mr. Douglas that it is a violation of state law for Okmulgee County Jail to refuse ex acceptance of any lawfully arrested person. After much debate, Mr. Douglas threatened to fabricate charges for illegally bringing a weapon into the jail and arrest Light Horse police officers. Light Horse officers continued to explain that state law requires the jail to receive the suspect. Mr. Douglas then threatened to lock Light Horse police officer in the receiving area with the suspect in custody if they did not leave and take the prisoner. Wallace can be heard in the video using his radio to instruct jail staff, do not roll my Sally Port door. Douglas then moved from the receiving area into the final booking area and Light Horse Deputy Chief North Cross followed him into the control room where Deputy Chief North Cross was assaulted. Yesterday, after receiving their arrest warrant from the Muskogee Creek Nation District Court, three Light Horse officers went to inform Mr. Douglas of the warrant and provide him an opportunity to turn himself in today by 9 a.m. Body cam of these interactions will be available for release in the upcoming days. We are having ongoing conversations with the Attorney General Drummond, uh, with U.S. Attorney Chris Wilson, and we will be determining the next best steps. The assault of a light horse police officer at the Okmulgee County Jail is a direct result of the policies set by the Okmulgee County officials that disregard state law.
This faculty is already facing an ongoing investigation by the Oklahoma State Department of Health and the Office of Juvenile Affairs for the mistreatment of juveniles in their custody, including purposefully housing juveniles with adult inmates. The video clearly shows jail staff explaining that it is official jail policy as directed by the administrator and sheriff to violate state law and selectively refuse prisoners. So, in addition to the prosecution of Mr. Douglas, we are in discussions with the Oklahoma Attorney General and the U.S. Attorney's Office and the Department of Justice Civil Rights Division regarding the unlawful policies and disrespect from Multnomah County officials both here at the jail and beyond. We understand that Okmulgee County officials dislike federal laws that grant tribal law enforcement jurisdiction, but those po political opinions do not give Okmulgee County the right to disregard and violate laws. It certainly does not give them license to assault another police officer. We intend to assure that Matthew Douglas is held accountable for his assault on Deputy Chief North Cross. But we also believe that to top officials in Omogi County, they must be held accountable for the environment of lawlessness they are creating. None of these people are above the law. I will now take your questions. <clears throat> We've seen on social media some people saying Life Force is federal. Is Life Force a federal law enforcement body that has more authority over local law enforcement? In order to address your question being, is Light Horse a federal law enforcement officer? We are not. We are tribal law enforcement, and we stand on equal footing as the state law enforcement officers. We have certifications. We have training uh, that is the equivalent to what a lot of our uh, state officers um, adhere to. Is there some confusion? Uh local level of fund officials about what the law actually says are the court cases pending you know that will eventually uh, delineate exactly the role for everyone uh, you know how trying to see what the resolution would be it's just a, a local dispute among confused individuals or a larger dispute of legalities of federal law the question being, is it a local dispute or are there larger legalities? There may be both. The ongoing litigation that we have with the city of Tulsa involves traffic tickets. Um, the issue with Omogi County and the Omogi Jail is a little bit different in that they are not recognizing our authority whatsoever. So not only um, uh, accepting jails, uh, jail inmates, and suspects, as is prescribed by the Oklahoma statutes, uh, there is a direct violation right there. I don't know what the misunderstanding is. That would be a good question for Old Mulgee. That was Muskogee Attorney General Jerry Weisner with that news comments right there. A lot to unpack here right now. Let's kind of recap uh, what we found out. We've heard there's been this dispute this week between Muskogee Nation, Light Horse Police, as well as Okmulgee County law enforcement officials. Now, we've learned this dispute started all Monday when we're told Light Horse Police arrested someone for having fentanyl and driving in the wrong lane in a school zone. We're told when they arrested that person, it was under their cross deputization with the Grand River Dam Authority, and they took that suspect to uh, the Okmulgee County Jail. Now, the Okmulgee County Jail is not run by the Okmulgee County Sheriff's Office. It's run by the Oklahoma County, or Okmulgee County Criminal Justice Authority. So the jailer involved in all of this is not an Okmulgee County deputy. Now, we're told when they brought that suspect to the jail, the jail staff refused to take that person in and book them into jail. Um, as we heard from the AG right there, they're releasing body camera today where it where they say shows this jailer, Matthew Douglas, assaulting Deputy Chief uh, Dennis Northcross with the Light Horse Police and also attempting to put the Deputy Chief into a holding area with the suspect who was arrested for fentanyl. Um, this dispute um, happened back on Monday. Now, fast forward, Tribal Police got an arrest warrant for that jailer 
um, over the last couple of days. Now we're told that Light Horse Police went to execute that arrest warrant on the jailer and when they showed up they were blocked from getting inside and so um, that jailer has been charged with a tribal charge of, of assault um, the exact wording uh, for that and so that's where we're at right now this dispute kind of continues it's ongoing um, but as Muskogee Nation has, has said they plan to release body camera where they say shows the jailer assaulting the deputy chief with Light Horse Police um, Okmulgee County Sheriff Eddie Rice also released a statement this morning as this was all going on. He said, in part, I maintain my deputies have been positive and professional during these situations. No Okmulgee County deputies have been arrested, and Light Horse Police have not attempted to arrest any Okmulgee County deputy. Now, we have News on 6's Emmy Bryan, who's in Okmulgee right now working on this developing story. We'll have much more on this coming up in our later newscast.